One of the questions that I never get asked is how to do a basic soil test to determine the clay content in your soil if you're wanting to build a pond and line it with that or a dam for your pond and you're wondering, will this dirt hold water? Or if you're wanting to do something like adobe brick, here's how you do it. Get yourself a basic old mason jar. Go to the dirt that you plan on using. Scoop it up. Like that, find some water, fill the jar up, shake it up good. And then set it down and watch it. Alrighty. After about 10 minutes or so, you'll be able to see this layer right here in the top. That's real fine. That's your clay mixture. And then there'll be a little bit more of it coming down on down into here, but the larger stuff This larger stuff down in here is more of your sand aggregate type. You see this fine layer right through here. So this is maybe 25% clay and you really need between 30 and 40% if you're doing adobe brick. But I do know this dirt holds water really well. So that would probably be sufficient for a pond lining or um, building a dam for a pond. But anyway, that's your basic, very, very simple soil test to determine clay content in your soil. This is after about maybe an hour and a half, and it's a lot more clearly defined at this point. Once all of this settles out, this level will rise just a bit, but you can clearly see this defined line right here where all this aggregate sand, gravel, and stuff is down here on the bottom versus the clay that's right up here in the top. And that's probably a little bit less than 25%, maybe closer to 20% of clay versus the rest of it being something else. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you get the answer to many other questions you never thought you wanted to know.